I guess for both players to start at, there are a lot of different combinations out on the court today, out there after the big first half that you had. Was it good to get that kind of experience in playing with some other people in the second half? Yes, um, I think it's helping build their confidence up too as we get into deeper ACC play because we're going to need people. You never know who's going to get in foul trouble or what happens. So it's good to get them more experience. Yeah, I agree with her. <laughs> what about you all? You all seemed more vocal out there. Experience for you all. Yeah, we've been working on communication now. At first it was rebound, and now it's more of communication and helping people be in the right spots, especially as a point guard. That's what I'm still working on too. Half of our scout is really communicating because you never know what they're going to come out with. A game like this where Asia's not playing, and I, I guess you guys kind of knew that at least today, uh, if not earlier. As juniors and as uh, players who are probably going to be leaders of this team next season, what do you look to do? You know, What experience do you take out of this uh, type of performance? Um, Asia plays a big role on our team, so it's kind of nice to see how we can play together. I mean, she's she like she'll get us open because she is such a good player. Like if I set a screen, they have to run with her. So it's kind of nice to see like how we do without her. Although it's great having her clearly, but like just to get the experience because like she said, like players do get in foul trouble, players do get hurt. Like so it's nice, I think. And I think another thing is with it's so much easier playing with somebody like Asia because yeah. she attracts so much attention and people are going to double her, triple her. So we get our feet set, we ready to shoot, and we knock down shots. So it just makes everybody's life easier Yeah, with Asia. Yeah. <laughs> Kelly, you've been going to the boards quite aggressively the last two games now, but uh, Dana tied you in rebounds tonight. Just both of y'all kind of brag on each other. I mean, <laughs> Coach Waz has been getting on Dana to get <laughs> to the free throw line and to rebound because uh, he jokes and says that she has four rebounds her whole high school career. <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah, he's for sure been on me about averaging 1.8 rebounds. So, yeah, so I've been trying to step that up and – help my teammates out because it's hard for the post players. They're out there boxing it out and we have to get the long ones and clean it up for them. As far as that first half, especially that first quarter, <laughs> what was working defensively? What was what was girls' mindset defensively in, in really shutting them down? I think communicating. I think we talked, we switched screens, we pushed each other through and we limited the limited them to one shot. We didn't give them any second chance points in the first half they had zero. So I think that was a big thing too and that goes hand in hand with rebounding. So if you limit them to one shot then usually you're good. Kylie looking ahead to the uh, uh, Connecticut game here. What are your thoughts? What's your team going to have to do to win that game? Um, like communicate, box out definitely, um, keep people in front of us. I think it's going to be a good game to see where we're at and um, a good look for March because Connecticut is such a good team. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. With, with the uh, you know they have they have height and mm -hmm. that's that's your department. How, how's that going to shape up for you? Well, I mean, I love playing against post players, but all their all their players are athletic, so it's just going to be a game where we got to keep everybody in front of us. Yes. Dana, what do you think about Connecticut? I think we just have to be really disciplined. Um, they make their open shots. They have really good players. So it's about us keeping our our player in front of us so our post won't have to help for easy uh, dish or uh, offensive rebound. That's going to be key, keeping everybody in front of you and limit their transition points.